typical laser measurement instrument normally consists of three parts. The sensor, some level of processing of the signal coming out of the sensor, and the output. This could be a numeric display of the measured result that a human user sees, or perhaps a direct interface with some host system. When using an Ophir solution to measure laser power or energy, and it's a numeric readout you need, the output could be based on either a standalone meter or a direct-to-PC interface. If all your work involves a laptop or a PC, one of Ophir's direct-to-PC interfaces could be an ideal solution. These are full-fledged laser power and energy meters, but instead of having a separate onboard display, the PC becomes your display. The PC interface connects your sensor to the laptop or PC. Ophir's Starlab PC application then turns your PC into a full-function, multi-channel laser measurement workstation. There are a number of interface devices available, depending on your needs. All of the PC interface solutions we'll see now are supported by the Ophir Starlab PC software application, and in addition, can be easily integrated into end-user applications. Let's start with USB-based devices. The Juno and Juno Plus are both single-channel USB devices. They're both very small, about the size of the sensor smart plug, so they have essentially no footprint, and they both measure every pulse up to 10 kilohertz, assuming the sensor itself can work at such high pulse rates. The Juno and Juno Plus get their supply voltage from the USB itself, so they need no separate power supply. The Juno Plus also has an analog output. The Pulsar comes in 4-channel, 2-channel, and single-channel versions. Pulsar, with Starlab running on the PC, can measure and log every pulse at up to 25 kHz per channel for sensors that can themselves work at such high pulse rates. It also has an external trigger input or output, which can be used, for example, to detect missing pulses or perhaps to log only pulses of interest and ignore others. Some applications might need to use an Ethernet bus. For such applications, Ophir offers the EA1 Ethernet interface. The sensor is connected to the EA1 via its D15 connector. The EA1 device is then connected via a standard RJ45 connection to the Ethernet network. The user can then monitor and control the measurement by connecting remotely to the EA1 over the Ethernet network. In some applications, a cable connection between the sensor and the meter is just not a practical option. The Quasar uses a wireless Bluetooth connection for applications where cable connection is impractical. It can connect to a PC over distances of up to tens of meters, depending of course on what's in between, so the PC can even be in a different room. Ophir also offers an Android app that allows you to monitor your Quasar-based laser measurement from your Android device, again using a Bluetooth connection. That means you can keep to your busy schedule, perhaps attend a meeting for example, and still check in on your laser measurement. If you need an RS-232 interface between your sensor and your PC, Ophir offers the Juno RS. Because it can work with the wide range of Ophir sensors, it can be useful, for example, as an enabler to test proof of concept when developing an OEM application. To learn more, contact Ophir directly via our local representatives or visit our website. Mm -hmm.